Well, hey, good afternoon, everybody. Dave coming to you from the Wyoming house. It's um, it's Tuesday. It's around noon here. Um, a white hat. I'm going to switch back and forth while we're still warm out. <clears throat> I think I can switch between the white and the black hat. This is a more of a summer straw hat. So, um, but in town yesterday, a lot of the guys still wearing the white. So I'll probably wear my straw hat. I'll wear this bad boy into the, into town today. Um, but I'll switch back and forth. Like if I actually end up doing a fireside chat at night, I'll probably wear the black one. But anyway, I can be a good guy for this video. Hey, um, one thing, uh, Mark, a couple others mentioned, did I change anything? And I really haven't. What you see back here is the stuff I smoke fairly regularly. I see some tins. I mean, it's not nearly as organized. And then just uh, the shelving back here, my reading, what I read. And I got some walkie-talkie, uh, what I read, my walkie-talkies. Uh, my air filter. I got stack tins here, uh, black locust and eight state burley. Um, I have a nice cellar here too. It's just so it's down in the cabinets. It's up on the shelves. I mean, it's not. It's nothing like the way I can show it to you on shelves. But this is my space. I try to keep everything that's just day related to this office up here. That way, um, I don't get. Too tomahawked when the wife comes when she brings her friends. Then you can just kind of go, oh, that's Dave's room over there. So um, that's why. But no changes. I mean, I've been adding jars and getting things jarred up and doing things right. But I don't think much has changed. So the whole point of this video is to do something I promised the last trip and I never did it. So I wanted to get on it like day two of this trip. And that's a review of the actual humidor here in the Wyoming house. So, I mean, it's a... It's a privilege to own this thing. I've shown it to you before, but um, this is a monster humidor. It's a it's an elite product. It's fairly expensive. Um, I've got it running great. I've got it tuned and running great now. Um, I try to keep temperature and humidity around 70%. And it migrates about 5 or 6 degrees, and it migrates a couple of percentage points, but it's a great place to store the cigar. So I've taken all the boxes out. I've unwrapped them all. And what I'm going to take you through is I'm going to show you, show you the humidor. I'm going to walk you through the box summary. And then I'm going to take you through each of the boxes. So there's 23 boxes. I, I open every one. I show you what's in these things. You know, it's, um, most of what I'm going to show you is unobtainium. The only reason I got it was I have a great friend here, Dave, who runs the tobacco row shop. And, he and Fuente have a very special relationship. And so for some reason they give Dave certain things that most cigar shops can't get. And, um, I mean, I have that relationship with Dave where I'm the first text. He actually sends me, I got this. It's unbelievable. I, I've got one. I'll never see this again in my life. It's yours. And I always say, yes. I mean, I don't even ask him what it is. I mean, I say, if it's that rare, I take it. And there's a bunch of those in this collection so um i'm a rube i mean i apologize for what i'm about to do to you um i can't pronounce a lot of them i don't know what they are individually at times i mean i'll learn as i go but i wanted to get this video out i could take a year to actually learn everything that's in here but i didn't want to do that so i'm going to take you through every box and you're going to see the humidor you're going to see the humidity system in it and um you know, that's really it. I'm going to shut up and I'm just going to turn you into the rest of the video. I just literally take you through every box and show you um, what it's like. And, and then I show you at the end what it's like when it's all restocked back in the humidor. So, which is a terrible presentation. I say that in the video. It's just, I mean, I'm not proud of how it looks, but that's a storage system for me. That's a storage protection and aging system. It's not a display. I mean, I, I don't leave the lights on inside. I don't have it somewhere lots of people see it. So it's really just for me to protect my investment. So that's it. I hope you're having a good week. Um, this is really kind of day three for me here. I got here Saturday, uh, Sunday morning. Um, you know, Sunday was kind of clean up the devastation of my son living here for a month with all his friends. Um, we're going to have to have a chat about what I got, came, came home to. Um, and then yesterday was a great day. I got some plum. The plumbers came and they start, kept working on the shower. In fact, I should put a picture up of what the shower looks like. They've fully repaired it and demoed, demolished 
the, uh, the ruined work of the shower where it had been leaking for months, apparently. And um, but they're uh, they're ready. They're putting the bid in to fix uh, fix the rock inside the shower. Um, my yard guy came yesterday. Um, Sasha had a great day. She she's like, oh my god, I remember the my my wilderness house. So she's been in the pond and runs through the house and runs around the property. And um, she thinks everybody that comes here is really coming to pet her. So both plumbers and the and the mower, uh, my lawn guy, both all they all know her and they love her. So she just runs around and follows them. And she had a great day. So guys, that's it. Hope you have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye. Everybody. All right, I promise you I do a review of what's in the humidor. What you see here are 23 boxes of pretty elite stuff. Some of it is part it's on obtainium that probably will never be produced again uh, my guy dave at tobacco rose is kind of a cigar wizard and he he gets things that other people can't get in fact the fuente rep comes in to tobacco row and um gives us things i mean we have to buy them but he brings things in that you just can't find unless you're sitting with the rep himself so it's pretty cool so what i'm gonna do is I you walk you through each box, and uh, that'll be it. And then I'll load all the boxes are now unwrapped and opened, and I'll put them back in the humidor as um, as closed boxes for now. My cigar experts here tell me it, um, it really is. It's the way it's stored at big humidors. It's stored that way, so I'm not going to pull them all out and stack them on the shelves. I'm just going to leave them in boxes for now. Um, don't have too many more boxes planned right now. This is, I mean, 23 boxes is pretty crazy as it is. All right, we'll drop into a, a little box by box review. All right, guys, it's time for the humidor review. So here's the actual humidor here in uh, Wyoming. <clears throat> it's obviously, this is why I'm not doing more in Maryland. I don't need two of these. So, so I'm doing my Tupperdor system here. So here's the humidor. It's a, uh, Temperature and humidity controlled separately. The left side and the right side are two separate humidors, two separate control systems up on the top. Uh, I've got a bunch of distilled water on the side here because there's uh, distilled water trays down at the bottom. And the humidity is really just a fan blowing the water vapor up through the humidor. So it's kind of cool. Not too fancy, just water and a fan right, here's box number one it's it's a tribute by don carlos it's the box is called a father and his son and you open it up it's got a nice crest on the top and then it's got the pointy story so it's just got you know opus x i'll just screen just scroll across these i'm not gonna this video would be two hours long. But it's just the best of the best of the Fuente line. And it came with this really cool humidity pack. I'm going to leave it in here just because it's so cool. I've never seen a humidity pack this cool. All right. There's box number one. All right. Here's box number two. Casa Cubana or Casa Cuba. And when you open it up, it just presents really nice. These all do, by the way. Part of the reason I'm leaving them in the box is the boxes are so cool. And you just flip this open. Look at these things, man. They're beautiful. Casa Cuba Florfina. I don't know what these are. So a lot of these... I purchased because they're just not, I'm never going to see them again. You know, my boy Dave says, look, I got a box, man. Do you want them? And I said, sure. He goes, I'll never be able to get these again. So I don't know how I'm going to decide what to smoke and when, but I just, uh, I'll go through all these. So there's box number two for you. Just the beauty of the boxes are amazing. Here's box number three. Again, Don Carlos. 80th anniversary. Just another unobtainium box. You open it up, 
and presents so well. It's just stubbies. Usually not my style, but again, I bought them because they're just never going to find them again. And they've had the same humidity pack. I'm just going to leave it in there. And it came with kind of a, a tail of Carla Fuente. So I'm going to just leave all that in there. And close it up. All right, since the theme, here's another Don Carlos. Open it up, presents well. Another humidity pack. I'm just going to leave it in there even though it's living in a humidor. Pretty much the same story. Again, this is a tribute box, never to be made again. Just unbelievable. I don't even know how to, how do you decide to smoke something like this? Anyway, they'll age well in the humidor, so until I decide, that's, that's what I'll do is let them let them uh, let them age and make decisions later. I'm fully aware that these boxes are beyond me, and I'm the wrong person to own them. I don't really know or under I even appreciate truly what these are. So it's another. Uh, it's a Fuente. It's a Reserve Año Limitada. Again, it presents well. Same story. Let's open it up. Look at the size of these things. There's my hand. This is crazy. Individually wrapped in cedar. Look how dark those things are. Crazy. Just crazy. I'm going to have to say that for every box, unfortunately. Or fortunately, but for the presentation, it gets boring. Yeah, it's another unobtainium. It's another one-off box. I get it. All right, on a box is six and seven. They're both uh, my Liga Provider number nine. It's just two different sizes. This is my favorite. And this is a bit smaller version, but we'll open them up and take a look at them. We'll come a cedar over the top. That's pretty nice. I'll compare them for you. So it's a fair amount bigger. Anyway. I love these Liga Provadas. They're on my uh, top 10 list, obviously, at home. And uh, I'll have to create some sort of list for here, but I have no experience with most of these yet, so I can't do it. Anyway, we're good. Put these away. So this is um, the Mac Daddy, obviously. This is Arturo Fuente. Um, this this is their, I think it's their 40th anniversary um, memorial box. And they only made a few of them, and somehow Dave got one, and I said, I'll buy it. So let's open it up and take a look. Inside lid. Let that fall. Comes with a foam cover over the top. And it's made to look like three books. Now this is an actual book. This is the history. This is the history of the company. So, I mean, I don't know. I, you can't even get these. These books aren't, I don't even think they're for sale. They just put them in these cases. And then these are, this is a cigar box, and this is a cigar box. So, let me pull them up. And I'll show you what's inside them. So what they call volume number one. And the, the, almost all of these are just unobtainiums.
almost ruin it by talking. Again, I don't know how you decide to burn one of these up. Put volume one away. We get volume two out. Some of these they only made for these boxes, if you can believe it. Same comment. I don't know how you decide to actually burn one. So rare. My palette's not ready to burn this caliber yet. All right, well, I'm going to put this away. I guess I'll take you with me. Volume 2 goes back in the box. They fit so tight. Put the phone back. And now put the lid back. All right. Crazy. All right, so that completes the seven boxes of the left side of the humidor. And now we will move over to the right side. So I had it wrong. That's eight boxes on the left side. So let's just go ahead and pull this one out. It's another Casa Fuente. Another humidity pack. Open it up. I got the focus for you. Just beautiful. And we'll close it up. Put the immunity pack back. Seal it up. And there's box number box nine. number ten. Another Casa Fuente. The Reserva eight oh six. Beautiful, quite a bit shorter, but what a beautiful box. Beautiful presentation as well. So actually, I need to move back. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine. There's two boxes in there, so that's nine. And we've done 10 and 11, so we're on box 12. This one you've seen before. These are my, my gosh, top 10 favorites, probably my number one, my Winston Churchill uh, late hour. By Davidoff, box slides open. Just almost impossible with one hand. Gotta find a better way to do this for you guys, but you can suffer through it with me. And here they are. Beautiful sight. I have a box of these in my box at the lounge here. So there you go. Churchill late hours. Box 13. Red Meat Lovers. Crazy title, but it's a great company and they make great products. And so it's in a super thick box. Can read this if you want, but this is a great product, and they have them here. I don't think these are rare. They're expensive. They're more expensive than they should be, but I don't believe they're very rare. I think you can go online and order these fairly easily. Box 14, you guys know these. These are Perdomo Habanos. These are on my top 10 from the Maryland list. 
But just show it to you because it's so damn beautiful. The box is so nice. There they all are. But you've seen this before, so I'm just going to move along. So box 15 is the Tabernacle. I know absolutely nothing about these. They've said, I've got them. I'll probably never get them again. If you want them, you get first dibs. When he says that, I normally buy them because if I don't, one of the other guys in the lounge takes them. So that's how I... So that's why sometimes I buy things and I'm statusing them here as I don't know anything about them. But look how dark they are. Dark and pretty damn big. So that's my style. Since I don't know anything else about them, I'm not going to sit here and try to BS you that I do. Oh, we'll close them back up. It's another sliding top. So um, there it is. I'm not going to bore you watching me try to do that again. Box 16 is the Davidoff. Uh, it's just, they're just called the Nicaraguan. It's a sliding top. Apparently very hard to get. I've not smoked one of these yet. But you know, nice box, and they're Davidoff. How bad can they be? All right, guys, we're going to do boxes 17 through 22 as a group. They're all uh, my favorites. They're all my they're all my Almex. There's three kinds: the Grandy, Grande, I should say, right? The Coronas. Or actually double, if you see it there, double Corona. And then um, some more double Coronas. So let's open them up. So you can see on the top, this is a, these these two boxes, are they 8 by 60s And they are, they are the Maduros. These are the double Coronas. And they are also Maduro. And then... These double Coronas are the Claro, and um, so we'll just go ahead and show them to you now. Nice box. The cedar on top. These are monsters. So I like them big. These are what I call Toro. But they're called Grandes in the Almec world. We have two boxes. One to smoke, one to age. Now the double Corona Maduro. Not as thick and a little bit longer. And finally, the Double Corona Claros. They're slightly lighter, but they're essentially the same cigar, in my opinion, for my palate. So again, for all three of these, I've got one to smoke and one to age. And they've become really hard to get, so I'm glad I jumped on these. I've had these for months now. But i got to thank Dave for getting them for me. You can buy sometimes, like I found a box. I found some of these online, but um, they're getting hard and they're getting expensive. So the, what I say is the secret's out on all Mac, so pretty much everybody's buying them now. All right. Uh, box 23, the last, last box is Byron. Um I don't think I can do it. Sorry, as I set you down, I couldn't do it one-handed. So these are not hard to get, but they are expensive. Um, presents really well. And these are just nice, super long. I hear these are absolutely beautiful smokes, but they're so expensive, I haven't pulled one out yet. So, again, it'll be one of those things where I just have to decide at some point to, some point to start smoking some of this inventory but for now 
they're just gonna stay stay in the humidor all right guys so i've got everything back in the humidor i think it's a terrible presentation but it works for me and i'm not this is not a showcase you know, this is storage protection and aging so there's the left side all restocked and here's the right side all restocked I was going to try and show you. Here is, those are the fans and the water pan. You fill it here. You can see the water moving and the fans. This one's actually running because it's angry that I have the doors left pinned open. But that's the humidity system. Again, one for each side. Let's close these doors up. You even got locks on them, if you can believe that. I lock them just not for security, just keep the doors from coming open or something. That's it. I keep the Fuente box over here. I don't try to put that whole thing in the humidor. That'd be silly.